All right, I have a test here that I've done before where the dark chair has a mesh fabric on it and there's another fabric in front of it and then there's a bright screen over here. And I've shot this with my GH2, my GH4, several Nikon cameras and the Nikons were able to pull this detail out while the, the Panasonic cameras were not. Now, is that a function of the internal compression or is that a function of something else? Now, I finally have the opportunity to take raw 4K 10-bit output from here and record it externally to see if it's the internal compression that's losing the detail and if using an external recorder really does make the difference. Here in this first sample, you can see I've got the 10-bit PIX-E5H at the top, the 8-bit PIX-E5 in the middle, and the 8-bit internal recording on the GH4 on the bottom. When I slowly lift it up, I realized that there seemed to be some clipping on the E5H, and also there was a difference in the 10-bit recording. Maybe there was a difference in the light or something like that. So I decided to redo this test to make it a little bit more conclusive. So here, looking at the second round of doing this test, I went through and sort of standardized the video, the shot, and made it as concrete as possible. And when I lifted it, the Pix E5H still looked like the black was clipped, whereas it's not clipped internally. But then checking again, I found out I had eye dynamic and eye resolution set up on the GH4 for a shoot. So I redid it a third time, this time making sure all of the image assessment and changes in the GH4 were off. When I lift this video clip, I still came to the conclusion that the video out recorded in the Pix E5H, the black levels were clipped somehow, whereas internally, they're dark, but they're not clipped. I get much more dark detail than I do with the Pix E5H. Here are three tests of the three different modes my one camera can record. Here I am testing three different recorders, the Shogun Flame and the Pix devices E5 and internal recording on my GH4. I'm gonna test it using three different modes. 0 to 255, and two other modes we'll test in a moment. Here I'm showing how each of these three different recorders handles the full luminance gamut when recorded. This is 10-bit on the external recorders and 8-bit on the internal recorder. When I raise the gamma on each of these recordings, we can see that the Pix E5 is much darker when recording 0 to 255 versus internal or the Atomos Shogun Flame. Now, at first I thought this was just a glitch on this one recorder. So what I did was I tested the two other export modes that my GH4 does as well. This is 16 to 235. So it's sort of reduced. It doesn't use the full numerical bandwidth of the recording. And again, I'm recording on all three recorders, the Shogun Flame, the Pix E5, and internally, and internal is 8-bit. When I put all three of these together, now again, it's not recording all the way down to zero. This time, it stops at 16, and then I lift the gamma on all three of these recordings. We can see that all three methods of recording do much better, but it is still the Shogun Flame that looks the best. The other two recorders, even the Pix E5 with 10-bit versus the 8-bit internal, they both looked very noisy. Now, I did one last test with the third export mode that the GH4 offers, and that is a 16 to 255, meaning it uses the full white level but it is limited in how dark it gets. So again, all three recorders, Shogun Flame, Pixie 5, and the GH4 internal 8-bit. The black levels will be very similar, 
but of course there's a bit more contrast because we're using the full 255 luminance bits in the recordings that each of these devices can record. Again, in my view, it is the Shogun Flame that pulls out ahead in terms of clarity, the least amount of noise, and both the Shogun Flame and the Pix E5 are both recording the same ProRes 422 10-bit, not HQ and not light. Now, I wanted to see how the Shogun Flame itself looked with all three of these different export modes from the GH4. Again, testing is key to maximize the capability of your equipment. When I did this test of both 0, 16 to 235, and 16 to 255, I saw that the zero output of my GH4 was not enough for the Shogun Flame to give me full luminance bandwidth. So now I know, even with this external 4K recorder, I need to use 16 to 255, and that will be the best output for me.